Okay, so today I want to talk about the Chinese number system. Uh, it's slightly different from uh, the English or the Western counting system. Uh, I mean the powers of 10, because in Western cultures you have a thousand is one with three zeros after it, and a million is a one with six zeros after it, and so on. Uh, but in Chinese we don't use this three zero system, so we instead use the four zero system. Now let me show you. So, uh, what Western people do is, or, well, I do this too, I'm in Finland. Anyway, uh, what they do is they have a gap between every three zeros. So, if you would have a one over here, it would be a, a million. So, if you have a one over here, it would be a million. If you have a one over here, it would be a thousand okay and this would be a hundred and a ten and a single or okay let's just say it's single um so then over here you have well a single thousand which is a thousand and then here uh, you have ten so it would be ten thousand and then one hundred thousand so you get the point you guys all know this stuff so let's keep going okay Quintillion. Okay, so this is basically what you have in the Western Western culture. Okay, so blue is um, let's just say it's West Western. Okay, so but the Chinese have it a little differently. As I mentioned before, we have the four zero system. So instead of three, like a gap between every three, there's a gap between every four. So get one. So the green is, the green is uh, Chinese, okay? I'm not sure about other Asian countries, but this is what the Chinese use. So Western and Chinese, the green lines mean the Chinese stuff. Okay, there's the single, and then there's the ten, the hundred, and then the thousand. I mean, it goes to, if, if there's a one over here, it would be ten thousand. Ten thousand. Instead of using ten of a thousand, we use a whole new different word, just like a thousand is to a hundred. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here in Chinese, a single is ge. So ge, I'll write the ge. That means single. And then this shi, shi is ten, tens shi. Uh, bai uh, looks like this. Bai is hundreds, and then thousands is still tian, which is like this. So that's tian. Uh, tian, so that's Q I A N. And uh, with this, it's different. Um, it's not ten tian, so it's not shi tian. It's actually a whole new word. It's wan, which is like this. So wan is like if you count in numbers, it is ten thousand, but it changes just like thousand and million changes. So after three zeros, this is after four zeros. So in Western culture, after three zeros, it would go to ten. It will go to thousand, then it will go to ten thousand. So ten thousand. So here we have basically the same thing. It's just shi, so ten, wan, so ten ten thousand, which is a hundred thousand in Western in Western culture. So what we have here is. 十万, so So if we have a one over here. So now you guys get it. It's basically the same thing after every four zeros. But in Western culture, we have this thousand, million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion, sextillion. Um, so that's basically a different name for every three zeros. Uh, but in Chinese, we have wan, which is the first a different word uh, after four zeros and then after another four zeros there's another different word for it just like billion is a different word from million what we have is e so e is like 
this i know it's it sounds very weird but it's it's what it is uh so if you have one over here it's e and e is is written like this so after e if you want to say 10 e it would just be 10 e so the same as 10 so 10000 or or 10 million or you get it and 10 e 10 e Okay, uh, and then after E, you know, it gets much harder than that. It goes to Zhao, and Zhao is spelled like this. Well, not spelled, it's written. Zhao. Okay, so if you have one here, this would be the Zhao. Zhao is the same as trillion, so it has the same number of zeros after the one as there are uh, zeros after one of trillion. So trillion has 12 zero so it's one times 10 to the power of 12 so there's 12 and then uh, this is and to the 10 to the power means that there's six zeros after the after the one uh, so one to the power of six 10 to the power of six uh, and for the one I can write it here the one has is uh, 1 times 10 to the power of 4 but when it comes to Zhao it is the same as trillion so these equal these match so trillion and Zhao match in the number of zeros that come after the 1 um, so this is 1 times 10 to the power of 12 okay so after Zhao you might be thinking well what's after Zhao well there's actually a certain point where it stops but not after Zhao but anyway after Zhao comes this Jing which is Jing it's the same Beijing the same the you know the Beijing that's the same Jing looks like this Jing so if you have one over here uh it will be called the Jing Shi Jing Yeah, and if you want a hundred quadrant, if you want a hundred jing, it would be bai, which is this, bai, which is, you remember, a hundred with two zeros after it. So that's uh, bai jing. So ten jing, hundred jing, then there's thousand jing. Thousand is as shown here, tian thousand. So, uh... And this is bad. So there's this. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this is basically. This is basically how we Chinese people do it. After Jin comes Gai, which is. Uh, it's very strange. Uh, Okay, so this is another one. It's just like how they change each one. The Western culture, each one changes after three zeros. Well, this changes after every four zeros. And after Jin comes Gai. And then it's the same pattern over and over again. It's pretty simple after you know the basic... The basic... If you know what Jin is and what Zhao is and what Yi is, then you, you know how to say the powers of ten in Chinese.